An Idle Mind, written by Sister Colleen Moore, read by Sister Roseanne Champagne. Recently, I had been having some heart palpitations for a few months in a row. I had done some research, new 40s hormones, and was also paying attention to the monthly pattern I saw. I was anointed a few times and had moments of really feeling God's peace. And then, an eerie whirl of whispers tried sneaking in. I have always felt a strong faith in the Lord. The word faith is actually one of my favorite words, but I will be honest, I felt my faith shaken. Not in my belief of God or His healing, but it was shaken by fear. And we all know where fear comes from. I rebuked the evil one. I prayed out loud. I called out to the Lord. I needed him to step in and take this fear away. It started to whisper lies to me that something serious was going on with my health. It started to make me feel anxious and fearful, and I had moments of turmoil. It was a spiritual battle in my mind, and I was determined to fight. I had God on my side. I had to go in for an echocardiogram of my heart. I was really nervous, but I took the time to pray, asked God for peace, and prayed everything would be good and perfect with my heart. I started reading the scriptures more and for longer amounts of time. I found new books to read and was reading all the time. I saw how true that idle hands and idle minds are open to the evil one. My husband is a pilot for the hospital and works the night shift at times. The evil one really tried to get to me even more when I was alone. I found that reading really helped keep my mind busy, and he started leaving me alone. I kept rebuking him and his evil spirits because there's no place for him in our home or mines. My heart palpitations went away. I felt different. My mind felt at peace. I knew that the Lord had healed me. He not only took away the constant heart palpitations, but he took away the fear, completely gone. We serve a mighty, mighty God. He allows the storm in life to show us that he will calm us. This was a big reminder to me about an idle mind and to always be careful that we don't keep it that way. Fill it with God and good things. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. Philippians 4, 8.